Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you my testing framework for path planning and control algorithms in automated and autonomous driving. And I have prepared a quick uh, tutorial with a uh, step-by-step um, walkthrough of the installation and usage process. Um, it, uh, all of it starts with the installation of uh, Docker. Uh, Docker is a containerization um, framework and uh, I'm using a blank uh, a Ubuntu machine here. It runs uh, Ubuntu 18.04 uh, and uh, previously no Docker is installed um, and I'm showing this uh, by typing docker-we and it shows the install instructions uh, and yeah, the, that's the current state of the machine. And by navigating to the GitHub repository of the um, raw CI Docker, uh, you can obtain the install instructions for Docker, but you can also just Google them. And uh, here everything is uh, documented what you need to do. Um, I'm using the process, uh, process uh, with the convenience script, um, which uh, can just be uh, triggered by copying those two lines here and pasting them into the terminal for execution. Uh, this takes a while. I will fast forward through the process. The next step is uh, cloning the uh, GitHub repository into um, a new folder. Uh, therefore, we uh, go back to the browser and navigate back to the uh, GitHub repository, uh, copy the uh, line for uh, cloning uh, the OCI Docker repository, uh, and first making a new uh, directory with mkdir. Uh, we are calling it workshop and we navigate to it, and here we execute the, the clone command just takes a few seconds and afterwards we uh, can uh, uh, start uh, the, the docker build. Um, here I, I just uh, messed up and uh, tried to uh, build the docker container in the wrong directory. At uh, first we have to navigate to the correct directory and then execute the docker build command. Um, and we get an error that we can't connect to the docker daemon and this can be easily resolved by uh, starting the docker daemon um, you uh, can google uh, how it works um, just type in the error message and then you can get to the stack overflow uh, and uh, here you enter system control start docker you have to enter your password and then docker starts and in the next step we are also adding our uh, current user to the docker group which enables us to run uh, commands with sudo within the docker container and uh, this uh, makes stuff a lot easier and the docker files can be written in a more more general way yeah uh, next we open the docker file to see what's in there um, before we execute it this is always a good idea uh, and yeah it uh, just uh, initially uh, gets the base ROS uh, melodic uh, Docker container, which uh, we build then on. Uh, we install some Python packages and some do some basic uh, updates, uh, ROS dependency updates and so on. Uh, then afterwards we clone the GitHub repository for ROS scenario simulation and uh, import the planner um, using uh, repos file. Uh, the, the contents of this file and the repositories used for the planner can be specified and then it's built with Colton build. And uh, the uh, working directory is uh, changed. We uh, um, get the uh, uh, ROS uh, launch script and uh, yeah, finally uh, start the uh, web server and uh, execute the launch scripts. Um, but first, um, 
we have to actually build the uh, Docker container uh, as uh, done so by entering the uh, command here. And then uh, first the, the base uh, Docker container, uh, including ROS, is downloaded. And uh, this takes uh, some moments, um, depending on your internet connection. Afterwards, uh, all of the uh, previously mentioned steps are uh, executed and uh, therefore installed on your local um, Docker container. And uh, this takes uh, between 30 minutes and one hour, uh, depending on your internet connection and your processor speed. Um, and also the planner is built using Kotlin build as explained and this takes a while uh, and uh, I will fast forward through this process and come back to you as soon as it's finished. Here we can see the uh, Docker uh, container build uh, finished successfully. Um, we have a um, Docker image now, uh, which is tagged as CI slash ROS uh, scenario sim. And uh, now we can uh, use the command from the GitHub repository uh, to run the Docker container. It uh, links the internal port 90 to the external port 80 uh, 8080 and uh, we can access that on the web browser as soon as the uh, web server is up and running. Uh, since the web star uh, server started first and afterwards the, uh, the ROS scenario uh, testing framework is started, we uh, can immediately access it in our uh, local browser. And here you can see the web UI, uh, but it currently has no uh, files written to it, even if we refresh it, since uh, no uh, simulation scenario is finished at this point. Uh, uh, all, of, all of them are still in, execu in execution, all of them are e uh, executed one after another, and therefore it uh, always takes a f like between 30 and 60 seconds for each scenario to finish. And in the end, you will have multiple files in the um, overview. Here, I'm opening a new terminal uh, to show you how to access the Docker container whilst execution from another terminal window. Um, you use docker exit uh, minus it. Uh, then you press tab to get the uh, uh, your container's uh, uniquely generated name. And then you enter bash uh, for the application you want to run and then you start in the uh, directory that you had entered last in the docker file and uh, already like all standard U ubuntu commands work like ls uh, minus la uh, which shows you the contents of the ros scenario sim uh, simulation folder uh, you can for example also hit cat readme and then you get the contents of the readme uh, which is um, also visible in the github repository and uh, yeah, to uh, execute Docker, uh, sorry, ROS commands, you first have to source the ROS environment and uh, therefore you enter source, uh, uh, you enter source uh, uh, root uh, ROS scenario simulation, then the devil folder and afterwards the setup.bash and uh, this sources the files for you and afterwards you can use standard uh, ROS commands like ROS CD or here uh, ROS CD to the scenario uh, sim folder is executed. Uh, yeah, here the contents are shown. Uh, as you can see, it's just the regular uh, file structure as you uh, should be familiar with from a ROS node. And Afterwards, you for, can, for example, run ROS topic info on any topic. Your uh, current post is shown. Uh, no, uh, nobody publishes it currently, so we should be in a state in between different scenarios with the overall scenario execution. Uh, now it started again, so we should be able to see uh, the publishers and subscribers of current posts. 
The next step, we are echoing current pulse, and you can see that it's published uh, at 10 hertz, like frequently. The position is uh, static at this point. This is uh, probably due to the vehicle I haven't started driving yet. In the meantime, we can take a look at the web UI and uh, see how uh, the executed scenarios are visualized. Uh, therefore, we head to the browser and refresh it. And uh, we see that there are multiple scenarios finished already. And we will, uh, can, for example, take a look at the uh, road fully blocked scenario, which uh, is a scenario where the eco vehicles drives on a straight road and there is a big obstacle um, close to the center line of the road and the uh, eco vehicle has to approach it and drive around it. And uh, you can see, you can zoom in using the plus and minus buttons and you can see that it uh, passes this quite closely but does not have any collisions. And when scrolling down, you can see the dynamic properties of the ego vehicle, like its velocity, its acceleration, also the jerk, as well as the steering angles and uh, steering rates and the yaw rate. That's it uh, basically for the overview. And uh, now we can take a look again at the position. It uh, did change between the last scenario and this scenario, but uh, we uh, for some reason still can't see a dynamic update, but uh, that's uh, not too important. You, you can see that the sequence is updating, so uh, it, it's basically working. We just uh, missed the, the point again where it's actually driving. Finally, we are taking a look at the uh, tight corner drive scenario, which was marked as a failure with the red uh, dot. Um, and we can see that the Ego vehicle is uh, still standing still at its start position and for some reason didn't start to drive. Also the stop trigger was triggered, like uh, this scenario did last for 60 seconds and the vehicle didn't move, so uh, there was an error. And we can also see that the dynamic properties all are uh, staying at zero and there must have been some type of error with the uh, planner. It might not have received the global pose or uh, might not have been able to plan a global path from this position to the end position and the developer, the developer now knows that he will have to investigate this case and uh, test on it in more detail and uh, figure out a solution for the uh, occurring problems. So uh, that's it from my side. Um, this was the presentation for the scenario simulation framework. I hope you learned a lot about it and uh, will be able to replicate uh, the steps I showed to you and uh, therefore be able to test your uh, path planning algorithms and improve your, uh, the behavior and the safety of your autonomous vehicles. Enjoy the rest of the workshop and have a nice day. Bye!